Uh, as we said earlier, we value uh, the free movement of commercial shipping, uh, which is one of the fundamental principles underpinning global commerce. We are carefully evaluating all aspects of the unfolding situation in that region. Our defense forces are taking necessary measures in this regard. We clarify that India is not a part of any multilateral initiative or operation presently in or around the Red Sea. Hello viewers, um, welcome to Beyond Borders. Today we are diving into the topic that has been making waves, the Red Sea conflict. Since mid-November, Houthi rebels in Yemen have been strategically targeting commercial ships in the lower Red Sea, creating ripples across the global trade. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. How did the ongoing Gaza war find a new battleground in the Red Sea? And why is this significant for India? Let's break down in detail. Before we delve further, let's kickstart with the backstory. Who the Houthis are? They are a militia group representing Zaydism, a branch of Shia Islam, and they once ruled Yemen. Backed by Iran, the Houthis have been a key player in the Yemeni civil war and control significant portion of the country, including the Red Sea coastline. And now they are flexing their influence globally, shaking up the trade landscape in solidarity with Gaza and against Israel. Now picture this, the Red Sea with its Babel Mandeb Strait. It is not just a body of water. It is like a super highway for international trade. It links the Mediterranean Sea to the Indian Ocean. It is a lifeline for 30% of global container traffic and a whopping 12% of global trade. Imagine the chaos when this vital route is under threat. It is a global concern. Now let's bring it closer to home, India. The Red Sea conflict is not a distant echo. It is a direct hit on India's trade, shipping routes and national security. Houthi rebels have targeted commercial ships, including the recent attack on the MV Chem Pluto on December 23rd. As these attacks escalate, India is closely monitoring the situation. The Indian Navy is on high alert mode in the North and Central Arabian Sea. Arab Sagar mein hal mein huye. यमवी चैंप प्लूटो पर ड्रोन हमले और कुछ पहले लाल सागर में यमवी साईं बाबा पर हुए हमले को भारत सरकार ने बहुत ही गंभीरता पूर्वक लिया है भारतीय सौ नौसेना ने समुंदर की निगरानी बढ़ा दी है जिन्होंने भी इस हमले को अंजाम दिया है उन्हें हम सागर तल से भी ढूंढ निकालेंगे और उनके खिलाफ कठोर कार्रवाई की जाएगी मैं यहां आपको आश्वस्त करना चाहता हूं साथियों भारत पूरे इंडियन ओशन रीजन में नेट सिक्योरिटी प्रोवाइडर की भूमिका में है हम सुनिश्चित करेंगे कि इस इलाके में होने वाले समुद्री व्यापार सागर से उठकर आसमान की बुलंदियों तक पहुंचे इसके लिए हम मित्र देशों के साथ मिलकर सी लेन्स को मैरिटाइम कॉमर्स के लिए सेफ और सिक्योर बनाए रखेंगे ऑल द ऑफिशियल्स क्लेम मैरिटाइम ट्रेड वॉन्ट टेक सिग्निफिकेंट हिट कंसर्न लिंगर अबाउट पोटेंशियल डिस्क्रिप्शन टू द इंडिया क्रूड ऑयल इम्बोट India heavily relies on the Babel Mandeb Strait for crucial resources and trade connections. Houthi attacks are sending shock waves through Indian trade, especially with the Middle East, Africa and Europe. Shippers are changing their routes through the Cape of Good Hope, causing about 20 days of delays. The incidents like seizure of galaxy leader and the altering of shipping routes are sounding alarm bells. The potential impact of increased travel time, higher fuel cost and inflation in good prices affect the common man. The recent talks among government officials, shipping companies and exporters hint at the potential shipping cost surge of up to 60%. It is a financial storm on the horizon. To mitigate the impact of Houthi attacks, the United States launched Operation Prosperity Guardian. enlisting support from countries like Italy, France, United Kingdom, Bahrain and Seychelles. Despite their efforts, the attack persists and the absence of Arab state in this initiative poses challenges. In response to the threat, the Indian Navy has deployed destroyers and aircraft 
to safeguard its shipping interest. As the Red Sea conflict poses significant challenges globally, more extensive coordination with partner countries is essential for long-term stability. Hope this video is informative. Keep watching.